Yeah. Well, what did the audience have to well, say? Well, so 73% of our audience has also gone through a hoe phase. Woo! Woo! And we love that for them. I feel like... Uh, so a couple weeks ago, we asked you guys to give your best advice for getting over an ex and how to go through a hoe phase. How to hoe. And Ariel, you went through your hoe phase. Yeah. Yeah. Now are I still in it? Mm, no. You're out of your hoe phase. Yeah, just fucking anyone. Yeah, you're actively trying to leave your hoe phase. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to have a phase in general. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I had a hoe phase after I broke with my ex, and it was amazing. Yeah, I feel like it was really informative for you. It I feel like you so did a fun. lot of self-growth. Thank you. I did a lot of fucking. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, had a, you had a lot of growth inside of you. Yeah, it was just, it was really fun to feel free and, and like, have different sex, because I think a huge reason why my relationship was bad is because the, bad sex. the sex was bad, and I think that's the issue with a lot of relationships like if you guys are having trouble communicating honestly the sex probably isn't that great either and then you're single and you have a whole sea of fishes to sleep with a whole sea of fishes yeah well what did the audience have well so 73 percent of our audience has also gone through a hoe phase and we love that for them i feel like it's a really healthy way to get over an ex or to like do some learning about who you are and what you really want like you said like I think it ta- it helps you learn what you want sexually or even like the way that you're treated on these dates that you go, you're like, oh, I do like this or I don't like this. Mm-hmm. Um, I think no it'd be really helpful manual. and it is so healthy. Yeah. And anyone who doesn't think so is just slut shaming and yeah. we don't fuck with that. Yeah. You're just slut shaming. Well, because like there is a really healthy way to do hoe phasing. Yeah. Like I feel like there are toxic ways to do it, but we pulled you guys. We got some healthy and toxic responses. Because we're balanced. Um, on how to get over your ex. So we're going to share those. And then we have some tips for being the safest toe you can be during COVID. Woo! So if you are going through a breakup and you want to get over your ex, here's the healthy first toxic option of what you could do. So if you're trying to be good, you could remove them for, from your social media. If you're trying to be healthy, You could remove them from your social media, block their number, block their accounts, or you could go fuck his best friend. Both good options. I've dabbled in both. And? Well, Well, you don't block people. Right. Dabbled in both as in I... I I have fucked a friend, but I... (laughs) Yeah, and I've I've made out with friends. So yeah. Okay. Cosign. Okay. Healthy option. Start a new hobby unhealthy option fuck his friend (laughs) stalk his social media and report the accounts of the women he interacts with oh that's really not that's going a little too far ladies and gents yeah i'm not co-signing you could you could maybe report his account but don't blame the other people involved you just blame him or her yeah don't no that's like the worst thing you're hurting other women okay fault Healthy option. Yeah. Spend more time with your family and friends. Or you could listen to all of the songs that remind you of him until you have a mental breakdown. Oh. I feel like when I go through breakups, I remove all of the like emotional triggers. Yeah. Like I fully will block or remove them from social media. I will take all the things and put them in a box and store it away so I that I don't Xbox. get triggered with reminders. Yeah. Um, you got to do it. You got to you gotta de-trig. But also, I'm thinking listening to all that stuff, depending on how you are in your life at that point, a cathartic cry could be nice. I think a cathartic cry is nice, but I think if you're doing it every day, it's not healthy. You know? <laughs> Three times a week, Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a cap. <laughs> okay, so you could start working out or you could start drinking. Mm, drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Both actually, honestly, would probably have a very similar effect. Actually, no. Working out is going to be a lot healthier for you. But drinking is immediate relief. The thing is, you could do both. Work out and drink. Yeah. Drink wine while you walk. Just do both. Incorporate both in your week. Yoga with vodka. Hmm? Yoga with vodka. Yeah. Mediocre wellness. Yogurt with vodka. (laughs) Mediocre wellness. That's That's, our brand. Don't fucking take it. Yeah. It's our wellness brand that, like, doesn't really try that hard. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) You could journal about all of your feelings or you could set set their stuff on fire and leave it on their doorstep someone's actually like people writing this in did they actually do that i don't know but i think they just are smart 
Yeah. I'm sure okay. I know people have done that, but I am hoping that you guys are just trying to be funny because this is ter- terrible. Some of these are bad and wrong and we don't <laughs> sanction any of them. Wink, wink, <laughs> wink, wink. Just kidding. Don't don't do any like violence or crimes or like take it out on other people. <laughs> OK, last one is you can go to therapy or you can try retail therapy. I actually like both of these options. I think they're good to do in tandem. Oh, I do both mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Mm. So drain your bank account, drain your bank account, drain your vodka <laughs> bottles and uh, don't text him. I feel so like that's my big. Yeah, that the overwhelmingly the number one response we got was like, just block them. Like, I don't think you need those emotional triggers in your life. Like, you don't need to be seeing that. And that includes Venmo. Unfriend him. Don't see those things. Yeah. Because oh, you really God. don't know when he Venmo's a bit. You don't want to know if he's Venmoing, Venmoing someone for drinks or dinner or whatever. No, you should just assume that once you're broken up, just like assume that the ex is with someone. Yeah, assume he dumped you for someone else because uh, they probably did. Yeah. People are trash. I wasn't going to talk about this on the pod, but my ex like commented on my Instagram recently and it got me all up in my feels. But that's also because I love drama. I yeah. love drama. And it was really fun to just be dramatic for, for a little. Um and I know I should block him because yeah. why? What? I'm just leaving an avenue open for him to reach out. I know I don't want to be with him. There's right. no reason for that. So be better than me and block yeah. him. Well, also because it's like you are now getting to a point where like I think as you have that ex farther and farther in your distance, it is less fun to like get to get worked up by it. Like every time you like get a notification from your ex and you get really upset about it, it's like it's now to a point where it's like you're actively choosing this like it's harder Lying to be like oh, I'm sorry for you because you're actively like I want it to happen well, nobody should feel sorry for me I think I I'm so wrapped up in like what is he thinking what does he do why is what's the motive here mm-hmm. what is going on but the, the fact of the matter is none of my thoughts or analyses are you're never worth- right not you but like the general you yeah, I mean, no, you never know what's going on, but the best thing to do is just pretend that they are just unavailable seeing someone else. I like to overanalyze everything and know how people are operating, especially when it has to do with me. Um, and it's just like a, a pastime that's not... <laughs> it's just uh, a hobby of mine. ...good for me, but it it definitely is pastime, so... Yeah, but the <sighs> best thing you guys can do for yourselves is to just not... And hook up with someone else. Ho phase rage on. Ho phase rage on. Yeah. Get on those so, apps. <clears throat> if you want to get into your ho phase this COVID summer, <laughs> we fully support you. But first things first, you have to get tested and you have to get vaccinated. Like that's step number one. Now that it's mm. available, do both of those things. Vaxed and waxed. Vaxed. But not necessarily that waxed. Vaxed, waxed, and taxed. Because at this point you should have filed your taxes. Oh, yeah. Uh, my accountant called me today and I ignored him for the podcast. Um, <laughs> this is your friendly reminder that you can't have hot girl summer unless you participate in shot girl spring. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. So even if you are vaccinated, we still recommend FaceTiming this person before you see them IRL because it's better to vet via FaceTime. Yeah, just vet. You might as well. Don't like it's time. convenient. Yeah. You've been cooped up for a whole year. You don't want to waste your time on uggos or lamos. Yeah. And so it's better to just do this in your home for 30 minutes, quick and easy. And then you see them and you're like, great, we'll do this again in person. Yeah. Yeah. Communication is key. When you're asking about COVID vaccinations, also ask about STI vac- or um, not vaccinations, but standings. <laughs> I got... Did you get your STI vaccine vaccines? with so many and everything? No, that's a great idea. This could be an opportunity to bring STI uh, testing into the mainstream where we're not awkward about it because everyone now right. is so excited. They're like, ooh, what vaccine did you get? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, you should be like, which chlamydia, well, which, which STI don't you have? And hopefully they say all of them. Yeah, how fun. It's a little game. Uh, but no, I mean, you're totally right, though. Like, as we're getting comfortable asking people about their, like, whether or not they've been tested for COVID, we should also be asking about STIs. We've talked yeah. about this on the pod. They were on the rise before COVID. They probably haven't gone down. So just mm. protect all of your parts of your body. Yeah. Grab a condom, bitch. Um, 
Now is the time to be super picky about your dates. Before you see them, ask yourself, would it be worth getting COVID to see this person? Is it worth it? Can he work it? Flip you down and reverse it? Something like that. (laughs) And if the answer is yes... Then, yeah, go see him. Yeah. Well, then, so if yeah. both parties are fully vaxxed and after the 10 or 14 days, whatever that it sits in, uh, you can see each other safely. But I think that uh, you can't trust anyone. So mm-hmm. if someone says that they're vaxxed, they might not be. Oh, my God. Never. I'm going to stop talking. What is now. happening? Don't yeah, trust are you OK? Anyone. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust a hoe. I want to say I think that you should still like stick to the FaceTimes even like outside of COVID I think that I mean I think sticking to FaceTime similar to like wearing a mask is like you might as well just put that in your normal rotation because it is just faster and like easier to tell if you like a person really quick yeah like why waste your time um now's a fun time to experiment with phone sex trying out Mm. try different like outdoor dating venues we mentioned going to like a comedy show but you could also do like outdoor museums going to the beach you know meeting at the park and having a nice little picnic strolling in the neighborhood so many fun outdoor activities so try those before you go and like do anything for like a sit down dinner and the also other nice and the other nice part about that is like they're cheaper yeah so Free. don't drop bills do you know of any outside art galleries right now I'm, I don't know, like, sculpture parks. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. I'm going to go to the Brooklyn or like Botanical, Botanical Garden. Botanical Gardens. Yeah, yeah. And our last piece of advice is don't judge yourself. I just, yeah, okay, I'll stop that. What? I'm judging myself. I meant for dating. <laughs> I don't know about the other stuff. Kind of hard to do in practice. <laughs> yeah, be a slut. Do what you want. Agreed. Ha 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 ha!